Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you the United States astronaut, class of 2016, Brian Duffy and Scott Parazinski. I tell them, let me get to Mars first. To provide the best that he could for us. Uh, my older brother, Dan, was a, was a Down syndrome uh, child and adult. And the jobs that my father was working, that comes together and came together right here at the Kennedy Space Center. And by spending a lot of time here over the years, uh, I've learned just how proud the KSC It's a, it's a genuine honor, and it's, um, it's beyond a doubt the greatest recognition of my professional career. When I got the call, um, I called back, uh, called Jan at home, and our, and our children at the time, Sean and Shannon, were two and four, and they were sitting next to the, they were, actually Jan had them on the counter, and um, the phone rings, and I give her the good news, and she's all excited. She goes, She's animated and she's going, Daddy's going to be an astronaut, Daddy's going to be an astronaut. And the kids got excited along with her. And then after a couple of cycles of that, Sean goes, what's an astronaut? So. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I know that the successes that I was able to experience um, in the shuttle program would not have happened without the you know, the absolute commitment of tens of thousands of people across the country. But usually on the day before entry, we would, uh, we would grab a wet towel, everybody would take a wall or a ceiling, and we would just wipe that orbiter as clean as we could get it to try to bring it back, because um, the KSC folks had given us this perfect, clean, beautiful machine, and we didn't want them to think that we had really trashed it. So. <laughs> Uh, to receive this great recognition, not as an individual, but on behalf of literally the thousands of people. <clears throat> Sorry. Getting choked up. Um, but literally the thousands of people who have touched my, my professional career. Um, brilliant, resourceful, creative, passionate people. Professionals, uh, NASA contractor, women and men, American and international partner, who prepared our spacecraft, prepared our, our payloads, trained us for audacious missions up into space, launched us here from the Kennedy Space Center, operated those missions, led those missions from the Mission Control Center in Houston, and then safely brought us back to planet Earth. What an incredible, uh, charmed life I've, I've lived, to have this opportunity to, to live out my boyhood dreams. Um, it's, it's really quite extraordinary to, to be an American, to uh, be able to uh, grow up in an, in an environment where uh, your country dra dreams big, but then has the resolve to, to fulfill those, those challenges. And I, I like uh, Brian and others have said, I think the future is, is indeed extremely bright. And uh, you know, for the young people, our, your future in space is, is extraordinary as well. As I walked in, he said, hey, uh, how do you like to go fly with Senator John Glenn? And my jaw dropped, you know, thinking, my God, I'm going to get a chance to fly with my boyhood hero. And it was such an extraordinary experience to, to fly with not just a legend, but a great human being. And then finally, uh, I, I wanted to point out that the Astronaut Hall of Fame really has nothing to do with Brian or myself here today, um, or even the space pioneers in front of me. Um, they, the Astronaut Hall of Fame was really created um, by the Mercury 7 astronauts to use their notoriety uh, to help inspire and support financially our, our best and brightest in STEM fields. And, and so I'm so honored and excited to support uh, the Astronaut Scholarship Foundation going forward.